Bobby Schefter, DUIResults.com. I just got off the phone with a client. We were talking about the requirements for the ARD program. So I wanted to do just a, a quick uh, primer on the program for you. So if you have a first offense DUI, and again, we're in York County, Pennsylvania, uh, and you have a pretty clean criminal background and no prior DUIs uh, for at least 10 years, if not more, then and there are no bad facts in your case, like no, no accident with uh, serious injuries, that sort of thing, you may be eligible for the ARD program. Of course, I'll analyze the facts of your case and your complete history and advise you on uh, eligibility for the program. But that's, again, this is just general primer uh, on the program. So uh, if you are eligible, we submit the application. If you're approved for the ARD program, the requirements of the program are going to be as follows. Number one, you're going to have to get a preliminary drug and alcohol evaluation uh, it's called a CRN evaluation or CRIN, stands for Court Reporting Network. It has nothing to do with court or reporting, but that's what it's called. You have to get that done. That's the first thing uh, within 21 days or three weeks after your preliminary hearing. That must be done. If you are recommended for a follow-up comprehensive drug and alcohol evaluation or if your uh, blood alcohol level is in the highest tier, 0.16% or higher, or if there's controlled substances in substances in your system, like marijuana, for example, then you're required to get that follow-up evaluation as well. So you got to complete that comprehensive evaluation. If they recommend any treatment, you have to complete that as part of ARD. So that's the rehabilitative side of things. You also have to complete DUI education classes, uh, formerly called Alcohol Highway Safety School. Names interchangeable, same thing. You have to complete that. 12 hours of classwork. That's separate from any counseling recommended by the DNA evaluation. You also have to complete uh, likely 35, maybe 40 hours of community service once you're in the program. And you have to complete an online program uh, by Mothers Against Drunk Driving called the Victim Impact Panel. And uh, beyond all that, kind of the most important thing for most people is license suspension. So if you're convicted of a first offense DUI, anything uh, above a 0 0.10, you're going to have a one year license suspension. But again, in ARD, you're not convicted. In ARD, once you successfully complete the program, all the charges are dismissed and your record is expunged. So that's the best part about the program. But back to the license suspension, they reduce it from one year down to 60 days if you're in the highest tier or 30 days if you're in that middle tier. Um, no license suspension if you're in the lower tier. Minors get a 90-day license suspension. So those are, are the basic requirements of the program. You're going to be in the program for a full year, get everything done in the first six months, they'll release you from supervision and close your case out at that point. And of course that speeds up the expungement process as well. Uh, but the, the key takeaway here from the ARD program is it's not a given. Uh, you need to have your application filled out completely and accurately, and there are lots of pitfalls and landmines along the way. So if anyone tells you you don't need an, an attorney for ARD, I don't think that's solid advice. I think your best advice, if it's a matter of importance in your life, you wanna make sure you have an expert in your corner um, to ensure that not only do you get into the ARD program, but that you're able to successfully complete it. So you get that DUI charge, Give me a call, Bobby Schefter, DUIResults.com, 717-747-9048. Thank you.